to the point too over the weekend. Like work ahead, watch some videos, check it out. Out part of the ball here, and we'll have that on, on what will happen is I'll do like a little piece of paper. It'll say um, a whole list of dates, like maybe the first one's August 20th. It'll say August 20th, number two. And you'll flip your notebook to August 20th and you'll write down what you have for number two. So it's a quiz grade. Um, and I do them after every test. So you take a big chapter test, you know, maybe that test is very challenging for you, but you come in every day, you're on test, you do your work. Well, you'll get 100% on this bell work quiz and those will go in at about the same time. So it's, it's easy points if you're coming in and working and you're staying organized, right? Like you have to keep your, your work in order. So that's why I do it for participation and for organization. Um, and just to help you out with a, with a good quiz grade. So you go into the week you're absent, you click on the day that you were absent. Um, if it says like the video doesn't load, there's like a square with an arrow in the upper right hand corner that will take you to the video. And you just pause it on the first slide and that'll show you the bell work. And if you push play, the answers will be shown. And then you'll have it right. Um, and if you want to continue watching the video to see the examples from class, do that. So you are required to make a bell work when you're absent. They will be on the bell work quiz. If you don't want to do the videos, just ask somebody in class, say hey, what was the bell work, get it from them. Or you can come in after school and I can put them up for you. You can do it that way. Questions on the bell work quiz? All right, chapter two focuses completely on quadratics and parabolas. So for weeks, we're going to be looking at the same types of graphs. Not, um, not this last chapter where we had all different types. Every graph we look at for this chapter is just parabola. So there's so many things you can do with quadratic equations. That's what we'll be looking at. Here we're matching. So I'm gonna match uh, equation little a with one of these pictures. So I have to break down what I see here. And I see a negative sign. I know that means so when I look at my pictures, this one's been flipped, and this one's been flipped. This one has it, so it's not this. It's not this. It's not this. It's not these. But it could be any one of these. Um, I only can look here. This line runs horizontal and section of two. So I'm going to look at these three flipped graphs and see which one has been moved right to. Big letter D. The pictures are in a different order than I saw them in the card that said all three of them together. Here's a like this and then this together. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, big letters. Who got big letter D for little letter A? Great. Little letter B. Who can look at the equation and tell me what I should be picturing? Anybody look and tell me? I see a picture. I'll start with that little letter. When I look here, what type I should look at? Right to B. When I look here, what should I picture? Up to. 
or who can find the one that is not refreshing, but is right to the help. Oh. Let me mark these off. So we use G and we use U. Do you guys want to name it out as well? Or are you gonna thumbs up if you're ready? Thumbs up if you want to do it so like it don't matter. I'm gonna wait a minute. All right, little letter C. How'd you match little letter C? Anybody got it? Let's see. Okay. Let's see the letter. Um, all right, A, B, C, black T, F, left T, F, down T, F, letter A. D has the letter A. Black and brown are gray. Mine? Just don't, don't even, don't even dispute it, yeah. Don't even think that much. Okay. Even without this, <clears throat> I see that as left too. So don't, don't put it in there and try to like foresee the future. You know why I say that? Because this is what you'd have to do. You have to foil that. With that being x plus 2 squared, like, so square this, it has to do like a full first, outer, inner, last. So what, you can't distribute it until you do all of this. Then you multiply a negative 1 through it. It's just like a totally different thing. Which we are actually, is, is one of the curriculums for this chapter, distributing it in. So. Little letter G, who's got it? Go to F. All right, so this point size means it's short. It stands a vertical strength. And letter F does look kind of wide, like it sends us down. It strikes you went down to you, so you want to go down to the F. Uh, Nathan, what do you get for little letter E? So we're good. Cadence, what did you get for little letter E? Did you say B? B? I'm going to go with B. <clears throat> so I pick um, B because it's not negative, so it's not reflected, and it's right to. And then so our last one, F is letter E. Did not pull up the correct information. Hmm. Um, but I know that the video is going to be like, so if you just pull this video up on your computer or on your phone or just stop this, watch it through with the video. You guys have to start on stop this and just do this. Um, right now, we're looking at vocabulary. We're introducing this um, chapter to all of the current language learners in high school to begin an online activity. So you have a green light for your devices. Get out your devices. Don't have one, it's broken, it's dead, you left it at home, you got 
taken away. Do you have my permission to move your seat next to somebody and work together?